channel, it's Caitlin here and today I am going to be doing a favourites video which I don't really do favourites videos, I don't think I have done one in at least a year. They're honestly just not my favourite videos to watch so I feel like I shouldn't be making videos that I don't even like watching myself so I've never really got round to filming one but I thought I would change it up a little bit today and do a makeup look alongside a favourites video and do a full face of current favourites for you. These are the products which I have been drawn to recently and that I have been using a lot and loving a lot. Some of them are new, some of them are just old favourites that I'm revisiting. And also throughout this video I'm going to share with you some of my favourite makeup brushes as well. Everything which I use in this video will be linked in the description so you can check the products out if you are interested in trying them out yourself. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do like this video and how I've tied the favourites and a makeup video together then please give this video a thumbs up because it would make me really happy. And if you're new then you can subscribe as well. And without further ado I think I will just get in to the favourites. Let's go. So for my primer on my face, my favourite primer of all time pretty much, is the Bobbi Brown face base. I love this because it's like a moisturiser at the same time, there's loads of essential vitamins in it and I just love it so much because not only does it prime your skin amazingly but it also takes care of your skin as well so it's like a two-in-one and although it is quite expensive you do get a lot in the pot so it's worth it in the end. Then moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using my favourite foundation ever and it's actually running out which is really really sad and it is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is 100% my favourite foundation ever. It doesn't even do full coverage yet the formula of it just seems to make your skin look amazing. I don't even care if I have a huge spot and this doesn't cover it because the rest of my skin just looks so amazing, so fresh with this that I just embrace it. So if you're looking for a daily foundation, although it's expensive, I would recommend this. And I'm just going to apply this with my beauty blender and pop this on my face. This is slightly dark for me, but it might work today because I'm a little bit tanned. Lightness strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning So my favourite concealer is of course the Lottie Got It Covered Concealer. It is so comparable to my really high end, more expensive concealers and this is a drugstore one which is just amazing. So the one which I use underneath my eyes is the shade Shell and then I also have it in the shade Fawn which I use around my mouth because it's more of my actual shade. Okay, so for my powder, I'm going to be using the MUA Pro Base Powder. It looks like this, just like a usual powder, but it's just so cheap, so affordable, and so good. Moving on to bronzer. The bronzer, which is my favourite, is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I honestly don't use this too much because I love it so much that I try to savour it. I try and branch out as much as I can but I do always find myself heading back to this little bronzer here so I'm going to use this today because it is my favourite and it does deserve a place in this video. Also the brush which I use is the Morphe M530. For my favourite blusher, again, I'm going to be using a Benefit product. This is from my blusher palette which I got for my Christmas a couple years ago. And inside here I have a ton of blushers from Benefit. And my favourite one is this one down here which I cannot see the name of. It is the Dandelion Blush from Benefit. 100% my favourite. Such a pretty pale pink. And my favourite brush to do blusher with is the Blush Brush by... Look Good, Feel Better Cosmetics. Ooh, 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 
Also, I feel like this blusher works really, really well with the Hoola bronzer. They just blend really, really nicely together on your face. And for highlighter, I actually have two favourite highlighters, but I'm only going to be showing you this one because my other favourite highlighter I have used a lot in previous videos. And it is the MUA highlighter in the shade pink something. I will link them both but for this video I'm going to be using this one which is by Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Boozy Brunch and it's huge so if you want to get your hands on this not only is it cheap but you get a ton of product. This one's more golden and my other favourite is more in the pinky champagne colour so it really just depends on what look I'm going for. I just choose whichever one suits but they are definitely both my favourite. And the brush which I use and everybody asks about all the time is this one here by Cicero. It is the L01 brush. These brushes are all vegan, cruelty free, all that kind of jazz. So not only is it a really good brush, but it's also ethical as well. Just so pretty, so glowy, not much of a colour, just a glow. Okay, we're gonna move on to my eyes now. I'm firstly gonna do my eyebrows with the Cabrow by Benefit. If you guys are looking for more of a pencil, then I would recommend the Anastasia pencil one. I love that as well. And the shade which I usually use is the shade Taupe, I believe. But this is my current favourite and I have been using it all the time. So it's in the shade number three by Benefit and I'm gonna use this today and it comes with a little brush which is just really super handy. So I've just zoomed you in so you can see my eyes a little bit better. The palette, which is my favourite and I'm going to be using today to do my eyes, is by Blank Canvas. This is what it looks like here. It's the Master Series 1 palette and inside mine looks quite loved, but inside it's just a really nice selection of brown neutrals and a little bit of shimmery highlight shades as well here. So first of all, I'm just going to set a base with this white shade here, which is the shade Lily. And another brush, which is my favourite, is the Blank Canvas F11 brush, and I've used it quite a lot recently in my videos, so you've probably seen me use it before. Next up, I'm going to be taking the shade Strut, which is here. It's a really nice warm orangey brown colour. And I'm just going to put this in my crease. I'm also going to blend it down onto my eyelid as well. These shadows blend super, super easily. I absolutely love them. And they are so easy to build up. So you can get a really sheer finish or you can build up and get a really intense colour with them. Next up, I'm going to be taking the shade Carmen, which is staying on the warm side of things. And I'm just going to pop this in my crease again, and I'm just going to use the same fluffy brush, which I've been using. And this is the Tapered Shading Brush E40 by Sigma. And I'm also just blending that down onto my lid as well. I'm feeling like just doing a really nice, neutral, smoked out eye today. And I'm also just going to take those shades underneath my eye as well. And now finally I'm just going to take a little bit of this dark shade here, which is the shade Hickory, and I'm going to pop this just on my outer corner and in my crease just to darken up this look a teeny tiny little bit. Now 
for a little bit of eyeliner. I'm not going to be doing a wing, but I'm just going to line around my eyes to give them a little bit more of a smoky kind of look because that's kind of what I'm going for today. So my favourite coal eyeliner of all time, 100% is the AM to PM eyeliner from Lottie. I only discovered this eyeliner about a month ago and I love it. I am not joking, I have fallen in love at first sight. It is the best pencil eyeliner I've ever come across. And gives such a strong dark black colour. I'm just going to quickly curl my eyelashes before we do mascara. So the mascara which I'm going to use in this video, which is my all-time favourite at the moment, is the Benefit Roller Lash. It's amazing. It's a little bit sad that it's so expensive, but it's really, really good. So to finish off this makeup look with my lips, I'm firstly going to be taking my favourite lip liner, which is the NYX lip liner in the shade, in the shade, in the shade Mauve, and I just like to line my lips with this, and also kind of fill in my lips as well, and then I go over it again with something else. So I'm just going to line my lips with this firstly. So this is the colour of the lip liner on its own. I do absolutely love the colour of the lip liner and I love just going out like this and finishing my makeup look here. It's really nice and matte without being super drying and it stays really well. So that is the lip liner Moave from NYX. But I do have another favourite which I do often use on top of this lip liner and that is the shade Chrysanthemum from Jeffree Star and this is a lot lighter as you can see but I like how it gives a bit of an ombre kind of sparkly lip colour because this is a metallic finish so I just like the finish of these two together so I'm gonna do this today but as I said I do love just keeping this on its own like it is right now I just take my fingers and blend it all out. So this is the finished full face of my favourite products and I have been using these a lot recently so I just wanted to share them with you because they definitely are my current favourites to use on my face. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, you liked seeing my favourites, you liked this makeup look. I don't know. Tell me in the comments section if you did like it and if you want to chat to me then definitely do so. I would love to have a chat with you guys too. Feel free to like this video and subscribe as well. That would make me happy and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!